I think the gatekeeper is the right combination of the magic and the screaming scary that Dick Van Dyke likes. I think it's the perfect combination. <laughs> well, you know, it's, always scary. it's cool to me that you like monsters. I mean, you grab that, we'll grab up here. Oh, look at that. And that came out first. <laughs> So now that the mold is cleaned, Mondo will have to spray the latex in, and then once that's done, he'll be able to get the armature from Mike, put that in the mold. We're gonna mount the gatekeeper head basically off of a pole so we can actuate it side to side. And then fill the whole thing with foam. Well, not too bad, looks pretty good. Mike made an armature that allowed the head to turn right to left, up and down, and then to talk. He also had the ability to move his arm so the arm could point at people as he talked and so forth. Okay, swing it up. So Mike and I are working on the gatekeeper and it's going along pretty well. And then Marsha walks in and points out a slight issue. Hey, you guys, it is like too short. First thing I notice, stubby little arms. They're about what three feet about? too short. No, what are you talking about? This plenty long. Swing it out sideways. Here's another project for us to fix. Just when we're getting close, there's always something. It's like a flag. Well, the floor is a different color black. <laughs> Why are we putting it on here? Why don't we just put it on in California? We're putting the costume on at Distortions because we want to make sure that it fits. I mean, there's no fixing it when we're out there. We're confused as a team because no one's listening to me. So here's the head hole. All right. There we are. I was right. Look at that monster. Thanks, Roxy. It's awesome. Our gigantic gatekeeper, we had to kind of like throw it in the box. I mean, literally the truck driver's there staring at his watch and we just had to throw it in the box. What if we get out there and something isn't right? So we made a last minute decision. Mike had to go. So we're in Malibu and we're on our way to Dick Van Dyke's. Hey, you hey, made it. Hey, Dick. <laughs> Good, Good to, to see you. The Rodan of monsters. Oh, yes. <laughs> I found Distortions Unlimited online and I started ordering things and they're fantastic. <laughs> Isn't like that, sure. I had no idea it was that big. Really? Yeah, yeah. He thought he was a little guy? Oh, yeah, he's, he's fantastic. 12 feet tall when we get him up. Okay. These crazy monsters need to learn to dress themselves. It's been about 50 years I've been doing Halloween. And uh, it's funny, back in those days, it was not that big. A lot of kids trick-or-treated. But these kind of displays didn't start. I think I was one of the first. And I started with the Frankenstein monster, and then right. the Dracula. Huh. And finally, I had a yard full. And I have to get a couple of cops to come and handle the traffic. Uh -huh. And in those days, you know, you, you couldn't buy anything like yeah, this. Yeah. I mean, so when I saw you guys, I thought, whoa. Monsters. You know, I, yeah. I, that's, I, that's cool yeah. to me that you like monsters. I mean, you grab that, we'll grab up here and we'll go up. Oh, well, thanks for the warning. Wow, that was easy on this end. Yeah. Real terror. Listen, if I fall, don't catch me because then two people will die. Uh oh. A little close. more? That's no? pretty close. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Then you don't have to go. Wow, that was easy on this end. Yeah. Look at that. We're not ready, really. We still had to program it. So now I'm going to do the arm. We had to distress the clothing, and we had to kind of train the actor. Monster. Deeper. Monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. No? Still nothing? Oh, no, that's good. Oh. That's good. That's good. 
We're about to reveal this gatekeeper to Dick Van Dyke, and I really hope we can scare him. Yeah. My God, look at the size of that He's thing. He's big. He's big. Oh, that is sensational. All right. Oh, that is sensational. I'm <laughs> glad you like Woo. it. Go ahead, Mike. Hit the button. I see you have arrived. I hope fear is something you enjoy. <laughs> Enter through the gate of dreaded darkness. Say your prayers. <laughs> there you go. Oh my God. <laughs> Isn't that remarkable what that thing does? That's going to be a sensation. <laughs> You're scary. Well, that's the idea. Well, he's the. Oh, that's great. That is fantastic. I was hoping that Dick would get scared. Well, it didn't. He kind of laughed at it. So then. We brought the kids down. Oh, we want to test it on them? Well, you're we're in front of Mr. Monster. Come right close. You are the first to see this monster. Come right here. There you go. I hope fear is something you enjoy. Enter through the gate. Say your prayers. <laughs> Just one of those moments that makes it all worthwhile. It makes you glad that you make monsters for a living. They're a half a mile away. <laughs> you think that's going to work for you? I think that I think it's going to be a sensation. I mean, it's colossal. I just yeah. can't believe it. Well, see, that's the thing. They're focused on the thing, and they don't expect somebody to come out no. of the chest. You know? Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Every year. Unbelievable. And, and the kids are really rough critics. They say, you had that last year. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man, that's tough. Yeah, kids. I don't think we were ever really scared anybody enough to be traumatized. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. The kids will scream and everything, but yeah, they, yeah. they love it. Yeah, yeah. Walt Disney said the secret to children's entertainment is kids like to be scared. Oh, is that they right? They like to be Walt given Disney goosebumps. Walt Disney said that. Walt. I Whoa. did not know that. He said, well, I always had a witch or an evil queen or somebody like that. He says, kids love to be scared. That's funny. Yeah. I, I, I That's did not true. realize he said because his stuff Yeah, well, he was a big kid himself. Yeah, yeah. Huh. <laughs> that's why we got along so well. Oh, that's great. <laughs> ha! Dick, I'm glad you like it. Oh, it's, love uh, it. I, I can't I, thank I, you I, enough. I mean, this is like a Halloween dream. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you enough I'm for ordering. Blow away. <laughs> that was going to be fun. the biggest one ever. Uh, and you're invited. Don't uh, forget. Yeah, we're you. coming. Two, three. <laughs> no, it was fantastic. <clears throat> set up as well as it did. Yeah, it set up fast. No tragedies. We almost had a tragedy. What was the tragedy? That didn't get on film. Well, we, 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 we unplugged it. For, I didn't download it. And so we unplugged it. And it's like we thought we'd erase the program. Dick's coming. That would have been a tragedy. <laughs> it would have been a tragedy. <laughs> the gatekeeper looks fantastic. And using the CNC machine was fast and efficient. But at the end of the day, it still needed that human touch. Victory! The problem with robots is they wouldn't laugh at my dumb jokes. The computer is really fast, but can it do this? Can it do this? Can it do this? Yeah?